we have submitted all the necessary documentation to the Attorney General's office. So the Department of Public Prosecution will sort of call up the case when it comes when it, when it comes uh, time to call the case. Now I know that you know a lot of people are saying you know how come it's taking so long, and um, obviously I cannot speak for the Office of the Public Prosecution. However, um, like in most cases, you know that there's a backlog. And so what the situation that I understand from the AG's office is that eventually when this case comes up, then it's going to be called. But it's not gone away. Um, it's not being, you know, disregarded. Um, it will come up and, you know, there will be the day in court where the charges will have to be addressed. But isn't it frustrating for you as someone of your caliber and someone of your expertise and interest in such, such um, history? that this case has taken way too long? Well, of course, I think, um, you know, most of us who have dealt with this and other similar cases would like to see that the trial date um, occurs shortly thereafter. Um, and in this case, like in many other cases, you know, it does not. So it is somewhat frustrating um, because it's important for the public to know that, um, you know, the National Institute of Culture and History uh, job is to protect and preserve our cultural heritage and that anybody who contravenes the law and who you know goes against or breaks the law destroys monuments etc will be charged and there will be a day in court so remind us again what's if they are found guilty what's the maximum punishment yeah presently under the uh, the law today um, the charge is uh, up to ten thousand dollars now, I can also tell you that okay. the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Civil Aviation, um, we uh, are in fact already met, we've already um, determined changes that need to be made to the legislation and that these will be submitted very shortly uh, to the Attorney General's office for again for amendments to be made to the, uh, to the penalties to the niche legislation. So what are those recommended changes, if you can tell us? The, uh, some of the, the new uh, changes include um, where charges can be up to double the, the estimated value of the monument destroyed. So let us say that you know, somebody destroys a large temple um, and the Institute of Archaeology determines that the value of that building was $200,000, then the judge can charge up to double that amount, so it would be $400,000. You know, if the value is estimated more, then again, the judge would be able to double that charge, so that it makes it very meaningful. We also will have a minimum uh, charge, and that charge, that minimum charge would be like $10,000. Right now, that's the maximum. So again, you know, we are increasing many of the penalties substantially over what it is today.